back to the organizing. Let's get to it. I'm so excited. <laughs> Look at all this space for furniture. That's really nice. Max, it's nice. You want to come see? friends good morning how are you this is my first day like waking up in the apartment with my stuff and i'm so excited for a vlog of just organizing unpacking getting things a little bit more in order we have a lot to go <laughs> and i would love to clear out this space before a furniture delivery happens a little bit later today just a couple things first it was the trippiest experience waking up this morning because I basically did the exact same layout as my last apartment and the walls are a similar color here. And I woke up and was convinced I was in my last apartment. I was like, the last four months were a dream. I'm back here, I guess, which was really funny and weird. Um, and it's like my brain turned on. I processed it a little bit more. <laughs> that was a weird experience. Um, I'm doing my makeup at the dining table because the one casualty of the move was my little like, I think it's supposed to be an entry table. I used it as a desk and a vanity in my last apartment, but all of the screws just like stripped out of the wood so I can't screw it back together. So last night I got wood glue and I've put weights down on each side. Max is coming to check it out. Yeah, I think, I'm, I think it might be fixed but to like hold it in place. And I think it needs to dry for a little bit longer, but I'm hoping that this will be strong enough for me to save it and use it. Cause if I can avoid buying something new, I would love that. I think this guy's very cute. He was cheap, which is probably why he's falling apart, but hoping to get my vanity back soon. The morning, my goal is to get all the closet, bathroom, cleaning supplies all figured out. Cause that's most of those boxes and some of the storage containers behind me. And then furniture arrives sometime between one and three, and then sometime after three, probably closer to four-ish. Guess who's coming over? Anna and Kaylee's. I miss them so much. I'm so excited to have them here to see the apartment. Maybe we'll order in some dinner, who knows? Um, but I just haven't seen them in a month and a half because I have been out of the state. So excited to have a little girls night and to show them the new spot. Then tomorrow's a whole new adventure. It's tomorrow Friday. Okay, if I'm taking y'all tomorrow, I'm picking up, I found a girl on Facebook Marketplace that makes custom like travertine tables. And so I'm gonna buy one from her and go pick it up, which will be like the little coffee table in the seating area in here, which will be really nice. And maybe get dinner with some other friends tomorrow. I'm playing the friend catch up because I haven't seen anybody in a while. So those are the plans. So happy you're here. I'm gonna finish getting ready and then we are going to get on it. Okay, let me walk you through what I'm kind of thinking the plan should be in terms of organizing my bathroom because I have fewer drawers than I did in my last place. In my last place, I had like a whole closet with shelves and I don't have that. Okay, I tried to tape this automatic fan sensor and it didn't work. I don't get how this thing <laughs> works, but uh, this is what I'm thinking. So I have two cabinets and three drawers in here. And I'm thinking about doing similar to my last one, maybe taking out the dryer, putting that elsewhere and doing half hair products, half body products in this lower drawer. Doing this drawer as like skincare products that are more special occasions slash skincare tools. And having this drawer be my everyday drawer with things that I use every night. I need to find some little organizers and such, but this is like what I just had in my dop kit that I carried through California with me. Oh, and actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and talk about this right now while I'm thinking about it, because they are the sponsor of today's video, which is great, great timing. Max, I didn't plan that. And it kind of feels like I did. Not the cutest or most interesting background yet, but I also just a side note, wanted to say thanks to y'all for being so supportive of my sponsors. I normally get to work with two brands a week um, and I feel very lucky to be able to do that so that I'm able to 
put out three videos a week and employ amazing female creatives and just kind of like make this a group thing. So thank you. And I am very picky about the brands I get to work with. I don't want to work with someone that I don't fully believe in. And this is a product that I've been using myself for a couple years. And if you've been around for a long, long time, you would know before that I actually use their sister company, which is Curology. And I just kind of love the way it's structured because it feels intentional and it's like kind of curated for you. I switched over to agency skincare when my skin goals kind of changed. I was no longer having as many breakouts. I was getting a little bit older and I was like, okay, now I wanna start kind of focusing on protecting my skin for the future and being as healthy as possible. I feel like a lot of that preventative stuff starts young, like at my age, it can start whenever, but I wanted to be intentional about starting it now. So I signed up for agency. I have their future formula. They have a couple different types of formulas. They have their future formula and their dark spot formula. The like main goals and points for this formula is it helps to smooth fine lines. It helps improve texture, kind of helps with some discolor a big one for me is it helps keep pores clear. I feel like I really struggle with that here and here and I have really noticed an improvement in my pores in general while using this, but it is formulated for me. So what you do is you go onto their website, you take like a skin quiz and then you actually chat with a real human, a dermatology provider, and you kind of talk about your goals, what you use, what your lifestyle is, what your skin type is like, and then they help you formulate something specifically for you. So this, I always apologize because I'm so rough on my skincare, especially if it's on the road with me. The labels get so worn, but this has my name on it and it has the active ingredients in it and the percentages. And I actually just last week got my email that it was like, hey, it's time to check in about your skin again. And they, they re-update everything. So my dermatology provider was like, how are things going? And I was like, my skin's tolerating it really well. And he was like, okay, let's increase this and this. And it's really nice because if your skin is like a little sensitive, you can scale it back. It just, it's so customizable. Um, and so I've consistently kind of increased the strength over the years. And it's also just nice peace of mind to, to know that like, okay, I've talked with someone that knows what they're talking about and it's all in one bottle. So I don't have to bring around like a ton of different prescriptions or whatever. It's just compact and nice and I love it. Here is a little skin update. Like I, like you saw, I put on um, a tinted sunscreen and some, a little bit of concealer this morning, but I'll make sure to remember to get a clip of no makeup at all so that you can see just kind of how my skin's doing. Of course, skin fluctuates, but overall the trajectory has been on the up and up and I've, I've loved the results. So I'm gonna actually have a link down in my description. If you're interested in checking it out, taking the quiz, chatting with someone, kind of like exploring those options, um, I will have my link for you. So feel free to check that out. Glad I'm organizing my skincare today, amongst other things. Kind of a perfect sponsor for today's video, so thank you. Okay, back to the organizing. Let's get to it. <laughs> Progress has been made. It's so funny because I would finish a drawer and then open a new box and be like, oh wait, there's more first aid or whatever. And then like have to switch it to a bigger container and then switch the drawer. But here's what I've ended up with, at least for both the bathrooms. Down here is nails and period supplies. Also, I figured it's nice to have that in the guest bathroom too, in case someone needs it. This is, this thing is first aid. This is refills. These are just products to try. And these are all the little first aid things, like all the different creams and all that sort of stuff. So that's kind of how that played out. I have an empty drawer that I'll figure out what should go in there. Down here we have cleaning. 
I have ordered some new cleaning supplies, so that's why this one's empty. And then a tall one, because I'm sure that there will be more. But we have a cleaning cabinet. And then a towel linen cabinet. I just washed a ton of them, so I'm gonna have to like fold them and put them away in here. So that is this bathroom. Now to mine. You saw all those drawers. I found, you know, some containers that work. It'd be really nice one day to get all matching containers. They're all like these acrylic. I really like these acrylics, so maybe I'll get more of those. And then this, I ended up doing hair, body, so 50-50. But under here, we have, this is all like kind of, you know, muscle things, like heating pads and um, another heating pad and my Theragun and things like that. Dop kits, big hair things like tools. I just found my curling iron, so I gotta add that in there. And then this side, we have, toilet paper and when I wash my blue towels, which will be in here, I'll fold some towels in there and room to grow, which is great. Cause Lord knows I will find more things. The next big project is clothes. So closet, hanging clothes. Thankfully most of them are on hangers. So that will be easy. I have hangers for all of my folded stuff. Um, and then my dresser, where are my dresser? I think my dresser clothes are in these storage bins, which should be easy. And um, shoes, organizing kind of all of that, getting my closet space cleaned out. I wonder what I'll do with this clothing rack. I wonder if I'll leave it somewhere. I, I used to do a lot more haul videos and I really enjoy them. They're just very like creatively fulfilling for me. And that would be fun to have to hang the haul pieces on, but I've not been doing them as much lately. So I don't know if it's worth keeping this somewhere here or putting it somewhere else. I don't know, it's just interesting how content ebbs and flows, but I would like to incorporate those once a month or something moving forward because they are just fun and creative for me. Anyways, that's a tangent. So this has been your verbal update. <laughs> I am going to continue listening to some podcasts and start cranking on the clothes. So we wanna come along for one more. If you're into satisfying montages, these are for you. If you're not, this video, just click out. <laughs>
it might be usable. <laughs> Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Okay. My last apartment didn't have this. Is that silly? It, is it silly to have a desk where you, like that is in the middle of where you're looking? Also, I think that the room is a little more narrow, but it would be really nice to film Get Ready With Me is basically the exact same setup that I used to have. You know what would be actually kind of funny is to mount a mirror on this. <laughs> would that be so ridiculous? Like it's just a small one, not much wider. So it feels more purposeful. Huh. I I'm open to thoughts. <laughs> if you have any. <laughs> hey buddy, did you hear me call you? I've just been leaving this door open because it's like a perfect 70 degree day today. And he's just been standing here. It's like, it's like doggy TV. I think this is so much more interesting from him because he sees dogs and bikers and walkers and people on kayaks and the whole thing instead of just car after car. So I think he's been <laughs> loving it. Do you ever just zone out and then your body keeps moving for like a couple hours? Cause that's what just happened and I've done so much, and I don't remember doing most of it. And furniture's still not here. I think I was like, oh, I'll just do one more thing. I'm sure furniture will be here any minute. Oh, just one more thing. Oh, just one, and now it's been like a few hours. They're officially late. The window was one to three, and it's three. So I'm down to this one box, which is frames. And I'm not gonna decorate till probably the next vlog, because I still kind of want to like organize and get things in places. But I just started kind of putting things in the general closet or cabinet that they would go in with the mindset of like, oh, I'll organize it later. And like I got all my books in here, which is nice. And then I put pretty much all the decor over here so that we can style later. All of these shelves leaves me with so much more styling room than I had before, <laughs> which is fun because that means, you know, we might get to go to antique malls and thrift stores and find fillers for those spaces. Cause I just don't think I have uh, enough decor for like all the space now. Look at those clean counters. Um, Flattened boxes about to do another recycle run. Those are the big updates. I still haven't done shoes, but Anna and Kaylee are now like 30 minutes away. So I might not do shoes yet. I am thinking about purses up here and then I got the shoe shelves. Look at how cool this Wi-Fi router is. It just, the, the Wi-Fi guy installed it and I was like, that's very sleek, but he fits perfectly under my shoe shelf. <laughs> um, so shoes are in here and here and I'll unload those soon onto this shelf. I found my moonlight. This is probably my most asked about thing in my house that people always wanna know where I got this. This was World Market years ago and it's like a shell material and I haven't been able to find it or anything like it since. So I'm sorry that that's disappointing, but it was like probably 30 bucks at World Market. My job is done for now at least My calendar is filled with vacancy Okay, Anna and Kaylee's just left. We went and we had sushi. It was amazing, but the furniture arrived after they got here, so I didn't get any footage of it. But look at these chairs. I spent forever looking for the perfect chairs because I fell in love with different ones and I was waiting and waiting for months to order them to where shipping with a line and then like a silly person I am, I realized that they only ship in Australia. So this was my backup, but these were actually a lot cheaper, um, which is great. I feel like furniture is so expensive nowadays. So I bought these for, I think they were 300 a piece, but they're like substantial. I actually haven't sat in them yet. Let's do a... That's really nice. Yes, I need to figure out where this mirror is gonna go. It's not gonna go here because I'm gonna move these over and then I think I'm doing like a little round couch and tomorrow we're gonna get the table. It's gonna all come together and be a little seating area in here with no TV, only for hangouts, chats, sitting, looking at the view. It'll be really nice. Um, I am going to catch up with you guys tomorrow. We still have so much more to do tomorrow. I have like a million packages that I have to go get from the package room, but it's far from my unit. <laughs> so I'll do that tomorrow. 
pick up the table and continue just getting this place in order. This is really nice. I'm really pleased with this purchase. Okay. Good morning. I just wanted to share my current favorite breakfast. It's salmon, cream cheese, red onion, and capers on a bagel or toast. But I found this toast yesterday after dinner. Um, we went to this cute little grocery store here in Austin called Tiny Grocer. And this is just like a locally made bread brand and they do all gluten free. Mm -hmm. But I can't find my salt. <laughs> I stayed up till midnight doing computer work um, because just been, you know, doing filming and unpacking during the days and then I sit down at like 8 p.m. and I'm like, uh-oh. So I uh, slept in a little bit, did journaling, got ready. I have a few things to film for not YouTube this morning. And then we're gonna, I think, try to finish off the closet to the best of my ability. But I'm gonna show you these chairs in the sunlight real quick. I just went to go link them for Instagram and I didn't realize they come in other colors. I feel like they didn't when I first bought them, but they also come in like a charcoal and like a kind of creamy velvety color. But I moved them over here for now so that when I sit, I can look out at this. Um, but I do think eventually I'll put them on the other side because since the couch will be rounded, it will be just like easier to walk. I think that it will have a better flow and I could put these more like flush against the wall, but put a little, table next to it for now. I sat here and I had my coffee this morning and I'm trying to pick back up journaling. I haven't done it since Vlogmas because I couldn't find my journal when I was in California, but found it. We have it back. So that's something I want to get back into. Max has loved it. He's just been living his best life, sitting out on the porch for as many hours as I'll let him watching all the people. So it makes me happy to see him happy. And he does finally have a grooming appointment on the books. I'm so excited. <laughs> Guess who did all the filming that she needed to meet? I did all the filming that I needed to accept the vlog, which is always the fun part. I've just been on like a different level um, of energy and I'm aware and I need to calm down, but we are gonna knock out the shoes, okay? There's also a box in my closet titled closet slash random. Who knows what's in there? So I think I should also try to get to that today. I'm hoping my smart light bulbs are in there because none of my lamps have bulbs and those bulbs aren't cheap and they're supposed to last years. Let's find out. did it. What I didn't do is figure out how to stop this bathroom fan. I'm just like hyper aware of audio, I think filming, but uh, I'll figure that out someday. But this is silly to say, I kind of like looking in here and seeing space, seeing like nothing on the ground underneath my pants. So I think I want to try to keep it like that and have my laundry baskets more tucked in the corner because it's just really nice to be like, oh, there's room. It's not just stuffed in there, which of course it's not because this is like an excessively large closet, even for two people and I am just one. But we have all the shoes. These little shelves are shelves that my dad bought me. By the way, if you're new here, I know it's shelves. My mouth just does V-E-S as F-S and my brain is saying V-E-S, but these shelves, 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 shelves. My dad got them for me um, and it just so happens that they fit perfectly in this one too. And it's so nice to get double the shoe storage in each shelf singular. That is what we're doing over here. I have my couple of purses. Oh, actually, you know what's so random? I think a brand sent me a purse that's a gift. Um, we should open it and add it to the purse shelf. I think that's what this is. My manager just emailed me saying a little gift purse was on its way. And this is the only package I'm unfamiliar with. So I wonder if that's what this is. Ooh. Okay. Cute. There's even a little cute little like clutch situation on the inside. I love that this is 
open because I wonder if my vlog cam can fit in this and then I can like bring a nice bag around instead of my free um, Brooklyn in tote or outdoor voices tote. Oh my gosh, so cute. That's so nice. What is this brand? Song Mott. I'll find it on the interwebs and I will link it for you. I'm really excited that maybe my camera can fit into this, but for now, let's add it to the purse shelf. Wow, I have a purse shelf. So cute. Okay, I am almost to the house where I'm picking up that coffee table, but I wanted to show you this girl. She's so cute. I found her on Facebook Marketplace when I was searching for someone that was selling a travertine table because I love the way they look. And like I said, she makes these custom. So this is what I ordered. It's like a little nesting coffee table, one, two. Oh, she just like makes them all herself. So I just DM'd her to buy one because she said she was running out of the color of travertine that I really wanted. I'm really hoping that A, they'll fit in my car and B, that I can get them upstairs by myself. But if not, my backup is she said that she's hired like task rabbits to deliver it before if they won't fit in a car. So it's gonna be a trial and error process, but it's just so pretty. I love travertine and I think it will go so well with the olive color of the velvety chairs that I got. Um, so let's see, moment of truth. We got them. They're so cute. They fit. They're smaller than, like, my car is bigger than I realize, which is really nice. And seeing them in real life, I'm like, okay, yeah. But they're heavy. I'm going to see if I can get them into my little cart and wheel them up. If not, I'm going to have to wait and get help. But small world. She opens the door. She's like, okay, I have something to tell you. And I was like, what? And she's like, our boyfriends are friends. And I was like, no way. And she's like, yeah, my boyfriend's a musician too. And I showed him who ordered it. And he was like, oh my gosh, I know Jordy. So I looked him up. It's this guy, Sheridan Reed. The musician world is so small, so small, but hey, we have boyfriend friends and I have her tables and I am a happy girl and we are going to see if I can get them in my apartment all alone. <laughs> okay, I just tried my hardest and I got one of them into my grocery cart and it was so heavy my grocery cart ripped. So then I used all of my strength to put it back in my car and I texted my dad asking if he has a dolly. Um, cause my parents are coming tomorrow, which will be a whole nother vlog. And I think that the next vlog is going to be all decorating. So he's bringing the drill. He's going to help me hang shelves, hang. Oh, apparently my projector screen somewhere, but I haven't seen it in the package room. So next vlog, we'll have a lot of decorating. This was a lot more organizing, hanging things, hanging photos, all that kind of stuff. And then just to give you a taste of this section, uh, I will show you the pictures. So, you know, the chairs. You've seen the coffee tables. I think this is the sofa I'm gonna do, but it technically will fit, but it also breaks into three pieces and I might just use two of them as a love seat here and the third as like a seat somewhere or I don't know, we'll figure it out. It's just feeling out the flow once it's in here, how much space it is. Anyways, this is the rug. It's jute and it has like a white and a jute color. And I don't know if I'm gonna layer a second rug over it, like you know the layered jute rug look. And then just to show you the patio furniture, these chairs, aren't those so comfy looking? Don't those look so comfortable? I'm so excited. So that's the vision. So you can picture the couch, the rug, the travertine, the olive chairs. So all that to say, that's the vibe, that's the vision. Um, and I'm really excited to start, like things are unpacked now. And I'm really excited to start decorating. So looking into the future, Next vlog, we'll be decorating with parents, eventually furniture vlog, whenever that comes in, and then just a bit more like getting things arranged. We might go thrifting to fill the shelves. Who knows? It will be very fun. But thank you for hanging out with me on another just around the house kind of vlog. It feels really nice to have around the house kind of vlogs again. I've really missed this. <laughs> and thank you also again to Agency Skin Care for partnering with me on this video. Don't forget, I will have my link down below if that's something that you're interested in looking into. And all the good info, everything you need will be down in my description box, timestamps, links. I try to do it all. I love y'all. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in another vlog tomorrow morning for me and like two to three business days for you. So let's take all night, all night, all night, all night.